Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import sales orders into QuickBooks Desktop using Z Axis. So, first off, what is a sales order? In QuickBooks, a sales order is items that are placed on back order for a customer. Let's take a look at one of those in QuickBooks. So, here's an example of a sales order that's been previously entered into QuickBooks. So, you have a customer at the top. And then you have items here that have been placed effectively on back order that be, will be delivered to the customer at a later date. And then they will create an invoice for those. So what I'm going to show you in this demonstration is how you can import sales orders that are held in a text file, an Excel file, or even an IIF file, and get those into QuickBooks Desktop using Z Axis. So the first step in the process is to open Z Axis on your desktop and we can connect to the QuickBooks desktop company file. So once we have a connection, click on the import tab and we're going to browse to where we've saved the sales orders files that we're going to import into QuickBooks. So what I'm opening are some text files that contains the sales order detail, but they could be um, in Excel or they could be in IIF format as well. And what you'll notice about the structure of this is um, they'll have a first row will be the column header that contains a description of what's in each column and then repeating rows underneath that of transaction or sales order data that we're going to be importing into QuickBooks Desktop. So next, we're going to create a map. So we select this option, add new mapping, and we select the transaction type as sales order. So now you'll see that on this left-hand side, there's a column of all the QuickBooks fields that are on a sales order. And then we're going to match those up to the columns in the import file. So customer name is going against the customer the name column sales order is going against reference number. And what you'll see is those fields marked in yellow are mandatory fields. These are ones that we must map to in order to successfully import a sales order. If you do get stuck on any of these, by clicking on this sales order link up here, it will take you to a web page with detailed descriptions of each of these fields and what QuickBooks is expecting. So I'm just going to finish off these columns. Now when I've completed the mapping, I'll give the mapping a name so that we can use this on subsequent imports. So once the mapping has been applied, these field names now change to the QuickBooks fields names. And you can see a detail of the data that you'll be importing into QuickBooks. Not all the columns have to be mapped and um, we can ignore columns in your import file as well. There are more advanced options when importing as well to do with auto numbering, um, skipping of list validations or automatically upgrading addresses in QuickBooks, as well as overriding or appending to existing sales orders. So once we're ready to import, click the import button. You'll see this import summary screen. Access will validate all the data to make sure it's in the correct format. It will go through and create any missing customers or missing items on the sales order, and then it will import the sales orders directly into QuickBooks. So let's have a look to see what we've just imported. So by clicking on this link, it will take us directly to the sales order, and we can see what information has been brought in. And we can click on another one. And there we can see the second sales order. You also have the option to undo the import. You can roll back these sales orders or you can undo all. So now we've finished, we click on close and the import process has been completed. So very simply, that's how you can use Z axis to import sales orders from text, Excel, or IIF files in batch directly into your QuickBooks desktop.